the pain never goes away. It has varying degrees, all of which hurt. A car crash 23 years ago left Paul Lamb unable to use his limbs, unable to care for himself and unable to end his own life. A right he is denied because unlike the able-bodied, he can't do it for himself. I want to be able to say, when I've had enough and I know I'll say it, um, to have the choice like you have and able-bodied people have, that's all it's about. Choice. Feel no choice. Standing between him and his right to die is the law. He would need a doctor to kill him, which under current law would amount to murder. The people that are making the laws that are just no idea. No idea. And as for religious views, well, we all have our own views, don't we? Paul Lamb is hoping to challenge the same law that others have failed to change. Tony Nicholson died last year after losing his life-ending bid. His wife told me there are powerful voices who practice discrimination against people like him. There's all the re always the religious lobby that well, you'll never change their view. Um, Tony's opinion of that was, well, fine, you know, have your religious views, but don't thrust them upon me. The right to die will be heard and judged again at the Court of Appeal next month. Another chapter in a long campaign, a fight during life for the right to a dignified death. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News.